The Portrait of a Lady by Kushwant Singh The Portrait of a Lady is written in first person and is in the biographical mood. In this story, the writer gives a detailed account of his mother, grandmother, with whom he had a long association. Kushwant Singh recalls his grandmother as short, fat and slightly bent. Her silver hair was scattered untidily on her wrinkled face. She hobbled around the house in white clothes with one hand resting on her waist and the other telling the beads of her rosary. Kushwan Singh remembers her not very pretty but always beautiful. He compares her serene face to that of a winter landscape. During their long stay in the village, Grandma woke him up in the morning, plastered his wooden stale, prepared his breakfast and escorted him to school. While he studied alphabets, she read the scriptures in the temple attached to the school. On their way back home, she fed stale chapatis to stray dogs. The turning point in their relationship came when they were to live in the city. Now the author went to a city school in a motor bus and studied English, law of gravity, Archimedes principle and many more things which she could not understand at all. Not understand at all. Grandmother could no longer accompany him to school nor help him in his studies. She was upset that there was no teaching of God and scriptures at city school. Instead, he was given music lessons which, according to her, was not meant for gentle folk. But she said nothing. When Kushwan Singh went to a university, he was given a separate room. The common link of their friendship was snapped. Grandmother rarely talked to anyone now. She spent most of her time sitting beside her spinning wheel, reciting prayers and feeding the sparrows in the afternoon. When the author left for abroad, Grandmother did not get disturbed. Rather, she saw him off at the railway station. Seeing her old age, the narrator thought that it was his last meeting with her. But, contrary to his thinking, when he returned after a span of five years, grandmother was there to receive him. She celebrated the occasion by singing songs of the homecoming of warriors on an old dilapidated drum, along with the ladies of the neighborhood. Next morning, she got ill. Although the doctor said it was mild fever and would go away soon, she could foresee what that her end was near. She did not want to waste time talking to anyone. She lay peacefully in bed, praying and telling the beads till her...